fantastic beasts and where to find them. It's delightful, witty, interesting, thematic, different to what we were doing before. It has the same spirit, the same warmth, the same wit, but it's set in a new time, a new place, and has brand new characters. Hey, Mr. English guy, I think your egg is hatching. Eddie is quintessentially British. He's kind of soulful and he has enormous humanity and I think unique. And all of those qualities are special and important for Newt's commander. You're the guy with the case full of monsters, huh? Use travels first. There are some moments in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the IMAX version, that are different to the regular version that people will see in regular theatres. And that's when we occasionally break the frame. And, um, and just let the movie spill out into the auditorium a little bit. I don't think I'm dreaming. What gave it away? I ain't got the brains to make this up. So we chose moments which we felt were emotionally justifiable and which enhance the storytelling. There are various moments in Times Square towards the end of the movie um, when there's some of the sort of flame effect, the embers float out into the theater. Uh, IMAX brings something extra. IMAX brings scale. Um, and a sort of sense of immersion in the story. We got a plan, right, guys? They need our help. Was that everything that came out of the case? The big major set piece action sequences are always great fun in IMAX, and the beasts will be even bigger and better on IMAX. And what I love about IMAX, it's a tremendously immersive experience for the audience. The sheer scale of that image is fabulous and the quality of it is always very exciting. I want to be a wizard. <laughs>